Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Since the chip rules were forcibly modified by the United States, TSMC has stopped providing Huawei with contract manufacturing services for Kirin chips, which has put Huawei in a situation of no chips available. Although there are also chip manufacturers like SMIC in mainland China, the inability to purchase EUV lithography machines from ASML has resulted in the chip process being stuck at 14 nanometers, making it impossible to contract advanced Kirin chips for Huawei. It can be said that this is both realistic and helpless. However, in the face of multiple rounds of suppression and sanctions from the United States, Huawei did not choose to compromise or give up. Instead, it became more and more courageous, and under the leadership of Mr. Ren Zhengfei, launched the Nanuan plan. In the end, the effort paid off. Huawei's Kirin chip made a strong comeback in August last year, and the Mate 60 series equipped with Kirin chip was also in short supply. Currently, global sales have exceeded 30 million units, not only did it have a huge impact on Apple's iPhone 15 series, but Qualcomm also suffered huge chip orders as a result. It can be said that Huawei has successfully achieved a breakthrough under layer-by-layer -layer blockade. For Huawei's strong return, the United States has also exhausted its efforts to find loopholes, and even took Huawei Mate 60 Pro to relevant institutions for dismantling, attempting to find an entry point to impose sanctions on Huawei again. But in the end, it came to nothing. However, what was unexpected was that sanctions could no longer be escalated in the chip industry, and the United States shifted its focus to China's manufacturing industry. According to media reports, on February 21, Biden suddenly announced a decision to invest $20 billion within five years to replace all cranes in U.S. ports with Nissan and eliminate its potential threat to national security. In fact, the United States has two purposes for doing so. On the one hand, it wants to weaken the position of Chinese port cranes in the global market and deepen trade relations with its ally Japan. On the other hand, it aims to stimulate the development of local manufacturing industry and reduce the risk of future sanctions. But what Biden did not expect was that just as the front foot was preparing to crush China's port cranes, China's rear foot hit a rocket in another scientific and technological field. According to media reports, recently the scientific research team of Shanghai University of Technology and Shanghai Institute of Optics and Mechanics jointly made breakthrough progress in the field of ultra-large capacity and ultra-high resolution three-dimensional optical storage successfully developed a super disc 
and it was published in the international academic journal Nature on the 22nd, make it public in the magazine. According to researchers, this super-optical disc utilizes dual-beam control aggregation, induced luminescence super-resolution storage technology, successfully breaking through the limitations of optical diffraction, achieving information reading and writing of 54 nanometers point size and 70 nanometers channel spacing. The sales capacity of the optical disc has also reached 1.6 pb, completely breaking the technological myth of American optical discs and becoming the world's first PB-level ultra-large capacity optical disk storage. In addition, the birth of Super CDS not only means that China has reached an international leading level in the field of optical storage, but also can play an important role in the future big data digital economy. Even foreign media have expressed that the trend of American technology has passed. As the saying goes, without scars and accumulation, there is no such thing as rough skin and thick flesh. Without the gradual pressure from the United States, China would not have risen so quickly in the field of technology. In fact, Huawei's strong return and the successful development of Super CDS, just a microcosm of China's technological history in catching up with European and American countries. Throughout the past decade or two, China has made significant breakthroughs in high-speed rail, super steel, hand-torn steel, laser manufacturing technology, and quantum communication, and has even become the world's number one. So, the current layer-by-layer -layer blockade by the United States can only be said to have temporarily hindered Chinese technology. As long as scientists are given enough time, in a few years, China's chips, lithography machines, and biotechnology will be able to fully achieve, overtaking on the bend, without fear of anyone bullying again. Please like those who approve.